and you're using magic Are there to magicians? connect. No, right? <laughs> oh my God, no. I'm done. No, with what's going on? <laughs> Wait a second. There is. Have you seen one? Has Gino. anyone asked you to heil? What the? F <laughs> <laughs> heil all over me. <laughs> <laughs> We're an Inuit for a reason. Yeah. We had we had inappropriate wood in our childhood. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Insannies. Hello, Stannies. Hello, Fannies. Hello, Slugs for another podcast. Hello, or Fannies. I am so excited. Woodies, I am so excited to present this episode to you. It was my friend Jason Ellis. We got to know each other even better. It was one of my favorite episodes. We had such a good time. Jason Ellis is so awesome. He was a pro skateboarder, a fighter, MMA fighter. Uh, radio personality, he's got podcasts, he does comedy now, he's the man. It was so, so, so fun to talk to him, so enjoy that. And also, I am on the road, I have my special coming up, so I am so excited for you guys to see me. Um, if you are in any of the areas that I'm coming to, please come support. You can be almost a part of the special when it comes out, because you'll see it first. You guys can see me September 15th and 16th in my favorite place, San Francisco, California at Cobb's Comedy Club. I'm going to be doing the next Annie Wood and Friends at the Comedy Store September 20th. We have Robbie Hoffman and a lot of amazing, incredible guests. I will be in... It's not on my thing yet. Sorry. On September 24th, I'm coming to New York City to run my hour two times Sunday night on the 24th. So come to that. Ari and... Um, who's going to be on it? It's Ari and Janine Garofalo are going to be opening, which I'm really excited about. Um, you can then see me in Austin, Texas at the Vulcan Gas Company, October 6th and 7th. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be filming my special in La Jolla at the Comedy Store, October 13th and 14th. I'll be in San Jose, California at the Improv, November 17th and 18th, and Houston, Texas at the Improv, December 15th, 16th. Come see me. I love you guys. This is so exciting. It's all happening. A special. Yay. She's special. I'm special, Ed. Welcome to Annie Wood. Hi, guys. Welcome to Annie Wood episode. 44. 44. Oh, my God. Aww. How exciting. That's a good one. Mm. 44 is a special one. We have my friend Jason Ellis. You know him from... Uh, he was a fighter. He was. Weren't you a singer? We just looked yeah, at yeah. I'm in Billboard charts. God, I'm so. I hate hearing about myself. No, Go that's on. so. No, I. Well, you're gonna have to tell me more because no, I didn't. I, I only to. know you as a comic. I know you as a as a podcast from a, a comic. comic. That's awesome. But that's how I met. Yeah. I mean, I met yeah. you like. Yeah, no, we are. You are a podcaster. I podcasted yeah. with you, and then you started doing comedy. And then what I love about you is you're very like. I'm just trying to do comedy like you got. Like you're very like cute about it. Okay. You're not. You don't come in like. Where's my spot, bitch? Yeah, you know, that's crazy. which a lot of people do. Which is crazy. Everything works, though. Mm. Every way everyone acts always works. So, but um, I met you years ago um, when I did your I did your Jason Ellis show. On serious. On serious. Yeah. We didn't know each other. I don't even know. Do you remember it at all? No. Okay. It was I had a show on E for four episodes. A talk show. What was show. that called? It was called We Have Issues. Uh, and we also had issues with the name We Have Issues. E was like, we got the name. It's called We Have Issues. I was like, oh. Um, it was me and this comic, Julian McCullough. Yeah. Do you remember him at all? No. Nah. You know why I like that? He why? was like such a big fan of yours and it's so funny you don't remember him. Oh, God. He was a little bit, I like Julian, but there was some beef between us. Basically the show was, we didn't get along and they're like, let's put them on a show together. But it wasn't like- But it was sincere. It wasn't that playful. It felt, there was, it didn't feel like a respectful jabbing. Yeah. It felt like somebody who didn't like me and I had to be on a show with them all the Is time. Is he a professional comic? He, yeah, he opens for Nate Bergazzi now. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see, I see. No, he's doing good. He's funny. He's he's a funny guy. Mm. And um but it was like it was a it was a traumatic event to have a show with someone. Else. It was just a weird thing. Yeah. It was weird to get a TV show. It was weird to get a TV show with four episodes. They didn't promote it at all. It was just a weird. It was like a secret. I had a secret show that no one knew about. What why? 
These uh, TV people, huh? They do. They're weird so stuff. weird, and it was yeah. because Chelsea lately had just gone. She had just left. Chelsea, yeah. La Chelsea Handler had left E, and they're like, "All right, we want to like." Oh, okay. So they gave like four people yeah. the slot and the seafood to stick, and nothing stuck. Right. And then they're like, "Let's just replay the Kardashians." That's what they did. But we came on your show, and he was like, "Oh my god, this guy Jason else." And I remember being like, "I would be so humiliated." To hear, because I think I was like, you know, one of the boys, yeah, you choke on the dick, and you know, like, I think I was being like that. Yeah. A little too open. And we didn't like that? No, you liked it, but I was it was gonna like, say, I little, love that. Yeah, no, you liked it, you brought it out in me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like you're sitting next to this person that hates your guts, you know? Yeah. And hates you. I feel like I can relate a little bit. Like, when I worked at Sirius, there were years there where I didn't like people, but they had to stay. They couldn't, you couldn't make them leave. Yeah, and they knew you wanted them gone type thing? Yeah, I think so, yeah. But so you were the Julian? Um, and they were the Annie? Well, I don't want to, because I feel like though. they didn't like me either. Okay, yeah. So it's no, I didn't love fair. him. Let's, I'll be honest, I didn't love him. Yeah. <laughs> but if he had been nice to me, I would have been nice to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was because there was an under, there was an uh, like a, a feeling that he didn't respect me. Yeah. If I felt respected, you can talk shit to yes. me. You can trash me. You can do whatever you want. That's what the, it was the same thing. Yes. And I was like, we're all here because I, I made this. <laughs> you don't respect me. Get well, out of here. I remember being in a whole interview with, with all of the E people. It was like right before the launch of our show. And it was like every person that worked on E was like at this table. And they're like, so, so tell us. Shit. They're like, tell Just us about yourself. Just a room yourself. of the most full of shit people I couldn't in the tell world. you what like one the of their names were. Like the level of smoke blower <laughs> is in that room. I just could. like, oh, I love your shoes. Oh, just, ugh, just It was funny because I remember feeling fully obese and I was probably like 40 pounds lighter than I was. I'm like, I'm the fattest person E has ever oh, seen. No. I am obese. <laughs> Give me broccoli, steamed broccoli. The the wardrobe guy that I had, he told me to, he's like, you know, if you, um, he goes, if you dip a cotton ball in orange juice and swallow it, you can kind of pull it back out. If you attach to something, he was teaching me like anorexia and things. I was like, wow. I was like, I'm good. Yeah. Um, but he didn't do that. It was just this one guy. I okay. would like make jokes. And then he was like dead serious. He was like, you know how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I work with all these skinny bitches. I know how. But I remember, so we're sitting at the thing and we have all the people there and they go, they go to him. They go like, so tell me about yourself. And he goes, well, you know, I've been doing comedy 10 years, you know, a lot longer than Annie. And. Um, you know, I'm like more of like an established comic and blah, blah, blah. And he was like saying stuff like that. And then they go, Annie, tell us about yourself. I go, well, I've been doing comedy half the, as long as him. And look at me, we're in the same place. So, uh, you know, it was just yeah, like yeah. that always, it was always feeling like, and they thought it was like a bit we were doing. So yeah, they're like, this is the show. And I'm like, this is stressful. I am yeah. in PTSD. Like I'm twitching, but, um, but you won. I guess I won. If you look at it, like if you, if you, if you, you like most people wouldn't, but if you did, it would look like you won. Yeah, it would yeah. look, yeah, on paper and on and, and stage and uh, yeah. on TV and on the internet. And, yeah. Bank but accounts, I do, I, I still like him. Like every time I run into him, I'm like. You think he'd so. like him if he was more successful than you? I think I would so. <laughs> yeah. I think I would so. Yeah. Well, he could get more. Any anyone can get yep. extremely successful at any minute. What's going on? It is the wild, wild west in comedy right now, and it's yeah. it's incredible. It's all our fault if we're not the most. Yeah, well, you made it. Tip top. If you're on the top of the mountain, yeah. What what what's, are you, what's like? your fault? Being on the top of the mountain. Yeah. I like that's what you think. That's cool. You just can't look at other people's mountains that are taller than yours. No. And then you're is, like, I'm on the top of the mountain. It's so exciting to get on top of the mountain, but then when you see other people that have like bigger mountains on top of the mountain, you're like, like it's shady up here. I thought it was gonna be sunny up here. And you're like, oh, it's everyone else's yeah. massive mountains. Yeah. And then you're like, what do they do? And then but then you can't yeah. compare yourself because no. It'll but ruin yeah, I, your day. I did your show and I was probably like, should I try anal guys? <laughs> What do you guys think? Oh man. <laughs> Condoms suck, huh, dudes? Oh no. <laughs> I would have loved that. So my okay, so I Todd and I went to Las Vegas with our families and my older brother was there and Josh Potter was with us. Yep. So he met Josh and he watched Josh Potter. He's like, I love Josh Potter. He goes, I went on and he's had this Australian guy who's like this like tough guy, but I think he like dudes. 
It was funny. So my older brother's a fan. Yeah. My older brother's just like, it was awesome. <laughs> so you're infiltrating uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Um, Finally. Sales, medical yeah. sales reps. Here I come. Yeah. <laughs> In guys' asses, apparently. But I like that about you. You've recently, uh, you've opened your back hole. Yeah. Yeah. You're blossoming. Your brown flowers blossoming. Mm hmm. Pretty good at it now. I'm proud of you. So, thank you. Are you good at receiving or giving? I'm uh, a, f a full switch. So, I oh. can do both. Don't yeah. you think at your age you have to be? <laughs> <laughs> you can't come into the game all late. Like, I'm a bottom. Hop on top, bitch. Yeah, right. Good point. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think you'll decide that you like one to go better to one later? Or the other? Yeah. No. Nah. You're like bot. You're butt by. You're positioned by. Butt by. I made that up. <laughs> yeah. No, I know you did, but I'm just saying. What, does it work? Does that make any sense? <laughs> Do you think so, Todd? No, it doesn't make really that much sense. Yeah. <laughs> I felt confident when I said it. I feel like gays. A lot of guys do both. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I think there might be like older people that get one in their way or get stuck in their way or maybe uh a lot of guys i find if you do you, a lot of guys don't use their dicks oh okay they're like super bottoms okay and they don't get hard either and they, they just like to they, but they get off in a way where i don't really get it like in I, the I, anus yeah and it's Interesting. more like a girl and they're Penises don't have to be hard for that. No, not at all. I know, and that's Are like, they faking? and that's a lot of them. There's a lot of people on Grinder that say because it's always good to be both because then you have more right, variety yeah. to choose from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most people that say that they're a bottom, a versatile bottom, it just means they're a bottom. Yeah, they can't get it up. Wow, but they can come from the inside of their butt. Oh yeah. There's got to be so much less pressure for them too. There, and it's got to feel good to be like. <laughs> Here, I'm giving you my asshole. Yeah, and a lot of them play that role, you know, yeah. where they really want to be submissive and, and you know, be like a trashy whore and all that a stuff. The weirdest prince. one to me is when gay guys want me to say, call them f Oh. And I'm like, I just don't want to. I look, no. You know, I don't want to say it because I look like I'm. I they want it. you to put on like white shoelaces. Yeah. I'm like, did you and, like, get me here something? to like feel of like as That's close as you can get to a gay bashing? Has anyone like, asked you to hile? What the <laughs> f? <laughs> hile all over me. No. <laughs> yeah, no, not yet. No, we were at the comedy store and Todd's like, this girl just went up to Jason Ellison and was like, I just need to let you know you're so hot. Does that happen to you a lot? No. Nah. You're so full of shit. It doesn't. What is that? You're such like I'm a. Not. Look at you. I'm not. I'm old. No. It's fing over. It's not you know? over. It's just the beginning. My dead lady was fing bonkers. <laughs> you look at her like, where'd you escape from, bitch? I see. pretty good looking. I remember. It wasn't like. Well, he likes like... older women. <laughs> She's probably fing 75 yeah, years old. Yeah, but she was probably, probably crazy, though. You don't, you're over crazy women. You're done. Nah. nah. <laughs> Aren't crazy women kind of the thing? Yeah, I don't want to. Like, I, you can't not sleep with someone because they're crazy. If you're crazy, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like what you get. I feel well, like you I, need a secure. That's what I. I aspire to want to be with somebody better than me. Yeah, which means I'm but pretty. But the lonely. beginning's boring. <laughs> Todd and I had a very, very simple beginning. Nothing crazy happened. Then the pandemic hit, but he's securely attached. It's crazy. Well, that's good. Right? It's great. I'm, I'm never had, I'm usually like cops are getting called. There's scratches. People are taking pictures. <laughs> like, oh wow. Be like, shine your light on my. Take a picture of what you did to me. Oh no, really? Yes. Usually I'm just crazy, crazy. Oh, that's his, terrible. but his mom's crazy, so that's where it works. Okay. So he's used to. Well, I'm glad you found him. You need to. You need to have like a prenup. Yeah. Uh, you need to have a. Um, yeah, you need someone that had like a like a horrific death. Well. Yeah, de no, you're right. Daddy I def issues. Somebody that has like childhood trauma mm -hmm. for sure. But who doesn't have childhood trauma? Yeah, but like a real good dose. Like a good yeah. one. Like in every hole by every relative. Yeah, yeah. yeah like videos of you unconscious getting stuff done mm -hmm. to you. Those are usually my girlfriend. And th that are mixed up in like the family footage. I just met a girl that, that had that kind of a story and, and she also does porn and I would date her. Yeah. You're like. Because she gets me too. Like, because I've been by a bunch of people too yes and it's like What's I, got little, I got little issues from it i got little eh, yeah. you know i mean like there's things sometimes 
I know. It's hard to understand, but you would understand if you've been there. Yeah. Because you can't if you haven't. I know. And I'm not asking anybody to. It's just if you haven't, you don't know what it does. I'm like, sorry, guys. Sucks for you. How yeah. ugly were you? <laughs> <laughs> you were wow. pretty ugly. <laughs> it's that angle. <laughs> Mm-hmm. An ugly piece of shit. Oh no! So you're on the road. What's going on with your life? <laughs> on the road. I love that you but think you that I'm like. But you have some sort a... of like solo show. What did you post about today? Oh yeah, uh, Louis J. Gomez and I are presenting. Uh, uh, wow, what's it called again? Skankfest? It just started. Nah, because Skankfest is. Skankfest has Alice Mania at Skankfest. Right. But I was still doing Alice Mania in Vegas. And then recently I had an Alice Mania canceled two weeks before. I had to give everyone their money back, like wrecked me because somebody reported me to the athletic commission. For what? For having people blindfolded being electrocuted <laughs> while fighting. <laughs> But I've done it for 20 years. I'm sorry, so I, just I actually figured, didn't know what Osmania was. I also had that. nobody hurt. Nobody went to hospital, so I was always, oh, well, that's not true. But no one got really hurt. <laughs> but anyway, so I was like, we're screwed, and then we're going to do a skank fest. Who do you think fest. reported you? Doesn't matter. You think it's someone you know? Some, yeah, for sure. Anyway. <laughs> skank fest was like going to be this other thing, and then in the end they were like, yeah, we don't want to be a part of it, and you can't do it. Is the fighting you? Is the boxing you? Yeah. So oh, now I'm doing, I'm doing Ellis Mania Kung Fu at Skankfest. <laughs> so you're not allowed to punch anybody in the head, but you can still kick everybody. Oh, my goodness. So I'm doing that, all the same stuff. Then in November, I'm doing a new thing in Florida where we can do boxing. Florida's like only punch in I the head. I talked to the guy. Too. Florida's like head only. <laughs> I had a meeting with like the people, the, the rules and all that stuff this morning. And it's just What like, do they look like? Normal, regular or crazy? He, he looked like he'd been around. Yeah. But it was just, you can do whatever you want. You know, he, <laughs> la- he laughed when I brought up. So some people would be blindfolded with electric dog collars on their back. And he was like, oh man, what a show. I got to see this. You electrocuted me on my old podcast. That shit does hurt so it bad. Does, right? And the anticipation of it is so yeah, stressful. Yeah, try that blind in a ring knowing people who are going to punch you in the head if they get near you. It's so fun when, to watch, you, though. when it goes off, you get punched in the head? No, I give the the controllers to people in the crowd. I usually give it to like celebrities or if a fighter's in the fight and his wife is watching, I'll give the wife the remote so she can. That's so cute. Buzz in. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's fun for it's fun for all the family. Yes. Yeah. And then, so what type of celebrities are we talking? Louis J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Comedians. He's fighting some other guy, Tim Weatherly or something. I don't. Oh. Uh, some comedian Butterly? guy. Who? Yeah, Butterly. Yeah. yeah really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tim's got a wife. She'll f*** him up. She'll be like... Z-z-z-z. No, no, no. He's in a real fight against uh, Lewis. Really? Tim yeah. Butterly? Yeah. One-on-one real fight where you don't think that's is a good idea. Is he training? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just Wait. Lewis is not to be f***ed with that. You I think mean, I know nothing? he thinks he's tough, but... <laughs> but Tim's... I, last time I saw Tim, he was putting the butter in Butterly, if you know what I mean. Right, but... He wasn't I like, feel like doing push-ups. All those comics like to... To party. Like, I think yeah. Lewis definitely, I've seen him go really hard, but I have noticed his Instagram, he does look in shape. So he's, that's why he wants to do this so quick. Yeah. Cause he's <laughs> actually Skankfest, in shape. We're because not, he's, allowed, we're not yeah. allowed to do it at Skankfest. Right. And he's like, okay. I've got to have this fight. Me and Tim have already agreed. Let's do Alice Mania, but I don't, he doesn't want to call it. He wants to be partners with me. And I'm kind of half out the door. Like, I've been organizing people get punched in the face for 20 years. <laughs> like, I don't remember that interview that we did because I get punched in the face yeah, for 20 years. That's so, funny. so I don't really want to give that to everybody anymore. Uh-huh. But for Lewis and Lewis's fans and like, f- you know, for comedy and, and all that stuff. I, I, for like, the laugh put, of it all, let's give some CT. Let's put on a show, yeah. Should um, you guys do a bet right now who's going to win? Lewis. Yeah. A t- $20, $20 Lewis. Bet? You have Lewis? I don't know Tim. <laughs> I don't want to be rude to Tim because Tim's been very kind to me recently and he's really defended me. I on know the that streets. Lewis trains and is very determined. You he's know? Puerto Rican. I'm sorry, Tim, you're a white boy. What you're does a fully that mean? white boy. That's not true. I'm a white boy. I'll wipe the floor with Lewis. I believe you will too, but you're different. Yeah. Yeah. You're different. 
Yeah, I'm You're not really white either. You're a different type of white either. guy. What are you? I'm You're also, not. Is this Ginger? Yeah. Ginger's very aggressive people. Yeah, <laughs> my dad had a crazy aggressive. temper. Yeah, I was a very blonde haired guy when I had hair. Oh, really? Yeah. A blonde, so an ultra, ultra ginger. Yeah, dude, it's still stashed in there because that yeah. temper is like a, it's in it. I go to therapy. I love, I no, 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 I now. love. My kids earmuffs help me too. love gingers, earmuffs. Dude, what They're the crazy. <laughs> They're mean. You're like, oh my god, holy shit! Oh man, You're mean to you? For you, dude. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy that we just been sweating everyone out in this in Annywood. I took a bunch of mushrooms, so I feel like my <laughs> temperature thing. Yeah, my temperature wanna, thing's pretty good. I, went, I feel good right now. I went with Whitney to when Whitney was on, like right before she got pregnant. She was like just going to strip clubs That's all the time. I wanted to go out with. What date with you wanted to be your boyfriend? It just seems like you know, I would one love of those, that. Just like too good, you know. Oh That's my god! That's why it's work. You know, if you and Whitney were a couple, I know oh, yeah. we wanted to set her up. We have a friend who we wanted to set her up with, and it was like right when she got. It's like she got knocked up like right when we all started having our I told ideas her. for her. I told her because Tony Hawk's good friend so is his wife, and then they told me at a dinner table, and I'd seen the post and I thought it was a joke. So then they go, did you see I Whitney? Because I know she wasn't that pregnant, so it looked like she couldn't yeah, push her stomach like, out. Yeah, I was like, okay, like maybe you're selling tickets or something. And then <laughs> Tony goes, you see Whitney? And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty funny. And he goes, it's not, it's real. I'm like, no, it's not. He goes, yeah, it is, dude. None of us like believed it. It's so weird. She's like, why is everyone so surprised? I'm like, I don't, I can't even explain to you why I'm so surprised, Whitney. But, then but he, like my uterus moved. Like it felt weird when you were pregnant. But then he's like, you're not happy about it, huh? And I was like, no, nah, that's good. Good for her. And then, then him and his wife started laughing at me. Because, and then I, I would have loved you it guys It would have been together. great. I I'm think a good dad. Still, you know? That'd be a great happy. stepdad. I do believe you're a good dad. I do believe you got f***ed up by your dad, but I also believe you're a good dad. But are I you am. in a good relationship with your dad still? No, nah, he died. But I oh, definitely... were you, when, before he died, did you get to do you resolving <laughs> and stuff? No. Did you resolve after yet? Yeah, 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 I did MDMA therapy. He was one of the you people did. that did stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the number one worst one. I'm always like, ooh, you got me there, folks. I may have missed a summer camp or two in court, but that one's definitely, it wasn't family yeah. court, let's just say that. God damn it. Yeah. No, I know, having to forgive someone that's dead that did some shit to you yeah. is rough. Yeah. But you know what? The gift of hallucinogens and the gift of drugs. Right? It's They're the really only good. way. It's the yeah. only way. Yeah, you it was amazing. Help. I don't want to do it again, but it was amazing. MDMA can be crazy. I'll do MDMA again. Party? I bought a bunch for my 50th birthday because I thought I was going to have an orgy. And then nobody came. And, <laughs> and, and then my wife at the time got me a, a little person dressed as Britney Spears <laughs> and a one-legged stripper. And they did dances to Britney Spears for me did you f them no they didn't want it. they were like friends of hers i didn't oh. get none of that happened that's actually uh, like legendary though to get you a one leg stripper but i still have the md because i bought a lot like 50 pills and they're really? from a doctor so they're real good <gasps> can i have some yeah okay <laughs> i'm going to a rave in santa fe oh cool i lived there for seven years yeah. and i'm going back to go to a raves. rave I know. Who knew? I Always know. been into it? No. Is it a new thing? I like thing? rave drugs, but my friend. Do you like dance? No, but on enough drugs, I will. Right. That's what well, that I was then I the like answer is dance. yes. I wish I liked to dance. I really like feel like that's one of my emotional blocks in life. Yeah. It's like I'm anal like for straight dudes. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Anal I felt for me first too. time I tried to get buffed, there was like this wall. Like I couldn't do it. And my wife was trying to finger me, and I was just like, uh uh. She was trying to help. Or was she, she strapped? Was she going to try I have it in my stand up. But yeah. It was a real story. Like she was like, have a Xanax and a glass of wine and I'll get a finger up there. And it just wouldn't go up there. And then I remember like That's having how, a serious like, gay, mental. You were afraid you were. Yeah. It was, it was, if you let that go in there, you're going to be a weaker man. Yeah. Because you'll have the gay. I'm sorry I said that thing before this. What'd you say? We started. Stop I didn't gay mean bashing it like me, that. bro. But I do like to gay bash you. Yeah. I'm always like, hey, gay boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you don't laugh. I'm like, is he mad at me? <laughs> I'm like, where's my little gay boy? There he is. He has little gay pink glasses on. Uh, yo. 
Little uh, but gay I feel boy. like if you're gonna be gay, you have to be gay bashed. My shaman's gay yeah, and I gay bash fair. him all the time. My yeah. ayahuasca shaman. Yeah. I'm always like, oh, you're in a rainbow? He's like, shut a, up. I have, <laughs> I have a boyfriend and he's black. And I made up a joke on the show the other day because someone was like, what's the worst word you could say? And it's like, in words, the worst word you could say. And I'm like, but what if you say, like, beautiful and bomb? <laughs> and everyone laughed. And I was like, I could say that to my boyfriend. And then everyone laughed again. And I was like, I'm going to try it. So then I told him a bit and of the story not... before I said it. Yeah. Kind of set him up. And then I called him that, and we laughed for hours. Oh, okay, because yeah. I was like, "This is gonna go either way." No, we he la he was just like, "What the? F <laughs> you did not." Yeah, yeah. And I, it worked. I don't fall for that shit when black guys are like, "Say it." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. Yeah. We're not doing that. Not happening." Yeah, I don't Todd know if I'm getting. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it up. Yeah, like a regular thing, but I did it. Did you like slap him when no, he said it? No, say that to him every time I see him. Yeah. Yeah, I won't. Did it feel good to say it? No, I didn't. Were you like, finally? I'm not that guy, yeah. Did you put your guitar away? You're like, I'm not going to write any more country songs now. Yeah. Everyone's mad at us because we were talking about how all these like country songs that are coming out where everyone's like, it's like they just, it's all about how they want to sing, say the N word so bad. They're like, oh, really? No, we just made that up. That's just our theory. People are so mad at us. They're like, how dare you say that? You might be right, though. You might be honest. <laughs> but who cares? Yeah. Oh my God. All right. So For she was foot. sticking a severed foot. Yeah, severed foot. That's a putting in people's butts. I did that the other day <laughs> for the first time. You put your foot in yeah, or a fake foot? Yeah, put it in someone. Your actual foot. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. And it's Into actually an really cool. Anus or vagina? In their butt. So you have a boyfriend, but you have a youth girls too. He doesn't mm -hmm. care. Do you like to have, does he like to have like orgies with you or just? Not really. We used to have threesomes with my wife back in the day, but. He didn't really like it because he didn't like John as much. I know. If you don't like him, you really don't. It's crazy. Because I definitely like. It's like, like this. Yeah. It's like you can suck it and it gets hard and then you give it to the girl mouth and it goes down in her mouth. <laughs> they don't like it. And I know she's good at it. Yeah, they just don't. It's just, yeah. they're like. Ooh. And he wants to play. Yeah. Just can't do it. They're just like, ugh, get that it's tune crazy. out of my face. I'm the one that's like, what's wrong with you, dude? Yeah, come He's on. He's like, what's wrong with me? What's you could have the you? whole world. Yeah. Do I'm like, look at me, man. I can do everybody. Do you, you know? feel greedy about it now? Greedy? Do you feel like a greedy man now that you can have all the holes? I've always been a greedy man for sure. But that's why I, that's why I wanted to bottom as well. Because once I accepted being gay and playing with boys. You surrendered and I to watched the... them get it. And I was like, maybe I need to get it. <laughs> and then next thing you know, when it actually worked, I was like, whoa. It was like discovering something now did you ever watch gay porn back in the day no nah. were you strictly lesbian porn? nope i have a theory <laughs> yeah, that he wants me to peg it. him because he only watches lesbian porn wait you only watch lesbian porn yeah, yeah. dude you're so is that so gay <laughs> it's so gay, so right? gay for, it's so not gay that it's gay. <laughs> right it doesn't yeah. it like circle yeah. back i'm like yeah. i think he wants oh me to you don't peg want him. a dick in there like it's he too gay to, to watch the he dick wants me to peg you know you want you know you want He's the dick so in that video snakes, they're all phallic yeah. he <laughs> just does. watching his snakes eat mice all day what's that non-alcoholic beer oduls yeah it's like going to the bar and smashing oduls with your boys <laughs> Get out of here. You want that dick in the video. No, I don't, I don't. On our wedding night, I'm going to peg you. Oh, my God. It's not that bad. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, not that bad. And yeah. you switched. <laughs> you were like, it's fine. I'm not. Nikki Glazer was talking about anal. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not an anal prince. S. Yeah. It's not for. It's like. It's the. Like, like, we can, can do you it. You don't have a, a button in your butt, so. Yeah. But some girls, like, yeah, they are do. really into yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I used to be like, they're lying. And then I was like, no. Nah, like, you not. talk to some girls are just so into yeah, it. I know those girls. They're just like animals. Those are my friends. Those are my best. I'm, so, I'm happy for them. Those are my best buds. I'm happy for them. <laughs> when we find each other, we both get so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting smashed in the butt. I'm like, I love smashing butts. Oh, my God. Yay. Let's go to fucking Disneyland. Well, last time I hung out with you for a substantial amount of time was on your show at Skankfest. And yeah. I was helping you suck your own dick. Right, that's right. I was an honor. Ah, fun times. It was a fucking honor. And you had COVID. You were giving your dick COVID at that moment. Yeah, that's right. I was wow. like, I... Maybe that's how I got it. I didn't get it. Maybe and I was like, but I was thinking, it. I was like, how funny would that be? Because I was, I was like, 
pushing you down with all yeah. my might, pushing her head into your cock. I was like, that would be like the best way to get COVID is like when you're trying to yeah. help someone human centipede themselves. <laughs> It's the that's a way where you don't feel bad about having it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like, we were doing things kind of worth deserved it when you it. think about it. Yeah, but you got fucked up. Yeah, whatever. You Skankfest, we should have paid a price for it. It's so fun. I was gonna say something should be done to us afterwards. Yeah, I didn't drink or do any drugs or anything, but I still felt like total shit for like. You didn't a week. do anything. <laughs> no, I don't. You didn't smoke weed or anything. Oh, I smoked weed the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I just don't count. I out. can't smoke weed. It's so embarrassing. Why? Sorry, something was buzzing. No, I my life falls apart. Why do you have like phone case thing dangling off you all the time? You know, like things in your pockets. No, I do have. You have I just in have your ADD. Right now? I have a <laughs> lip gloss. Why do you always have that dangling? Because like I'll a lose purse? it. I hate it. It's very annoying. It's like a, it's like you've got a pass for a nightclub or so, like a. a <laughs> it looks like I mean, it looks like, like you got a laminate on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like where did you just get into? You know? I do love a lanyard. Yeah, that's and what I do. Lanyard, my bad. I do. I do assume I can get in everywhere. Yeah. I do have the vibe of I'm going backstage. Yeah, and it I'm, seems like you got a VIP. When I can't go backstage, I'm livid. I'm right. so pissed. Like, even Do you just, say stuff to security, like, how dare you? Do you know who I am? I don't go, like, how dare you, but I'm like, let's go. I'm like, we're not staying. I'm not standing with the regular people. Right. I understand that. I refuse. You get backstage once, and then you, I'm never it's going like first back. class. Exactly. You go first class, and then next time you go academy, you're like, these Ah, oh, they're disgusting. not nice to you back here. I'm not here. supposed to be here. And you, you know? always get the stinky guy. You yeah. always get the stinky guy when you're like, you know, I'll just fly coach this time. It's fine. And then it's it's hell. Or screaming babies. Screaming babies. But how about when you're in first class and there's a screaming baby and you want to be like, excuse me, bitch. That's ridiculous. Show me your baby's credentials. I want to see the, yeah. uh, the uh, American Express your baby has a zip in metal at least. Yeah, get this offensive. baby the fuck out of here. Because you're in first class, you have to be like polite and shit because you're among the rich. And rich people don't complain about children. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't know this. I'm not rich. I'm just like lucky that I got in first class. And I'm like, fuck this kid. But you can't, but it's like you can't like, even though it's like I'm obviously new to first class. Like I never get the thing out right. Like I'm always like, I'm so obviously oh, wow. new to first class. I'm yeah. always like trying to get the thing out. And I'm like, I, I swear I fly all the time. You know, like you have yeah. to like. And then if I do fly coach, I always get recognized by 25 people. It's the most annoying thing. That's when awesome, I'm in though. first class, no, no, but then I'm always like, tell them I was in first. I'm like, don't oh, tell okay. I was in coach. Right. <laughs> I was in first. <laughs> it's so funny. Josh Potter and I were, where were we flying? We were in one doing a gig and I couldn't get us first class, but I got us, we were going to just do a bunch of ketamine. So I was yeah. like. I've I got was, ketamine spray. I know, but don't didn't didn't you say you don't down. like it anymore? Yeah, I got bored of it. I don't know what happened. It like well, you get like a it like fixed me. Yeah, you get like addicted to but it. But I and do it on flights, though. So I still do it no, on flights. It's the spot. You're like in the yeah. clouds. You're like, yeah. am I a cloud? Where am it I? It makes the fly better for sure. Todd was so funny. Todd's like, everyone knows what you're doing because I'm like, I think I have this brilliant thing where I put my hoodie over my. Yeah, that's not suspect. <laughs> I was like, Here's your oh wait, you actually hog it up in there? <laughs> I have like a doctor's. That's the best. This is the best thing about it. Doctor's spray. Like I've had a, I've gone through customs yeah. at an airport into another country, and they've gone, "What's this?" And I'm like, "It's ketamine spray." I know I gotta go to that doctor. Prescribe for me, <laughs> and they're just like, "Good for you." And it goes back in the back. Yeah, like you can do it anywhere. I love doing mushrooms and ketamine on flights. Yeah, yeah, me too. But you gotta I'm make it fun. It, I have like full epiphanies while I'm in, like I'm yep. in flight. I'm like, oh my god, we're in flight. Life is a dream. We're yep. in the clouds. Yeah, I'm like, I should never be upset again. There's no arguments. There's right. no fights. Everything's Sometimes chill. you watch a movie and you're like, this is the greatest movie ever. And then you watch it again. You're like, what the f was I thinking? <laughs> I did. So I did like massive dose of ketamine and watched Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. And I was like, I figured everything out. Everything's a game. We're all tricking everyone. And yeah. these people put these little bonnets on. They're tricking people. And. I went like hard. I went, yeah. It, but then I haven't watched it sober. I cried. I watched Goodwill Hunting and I cried. <laughs> I didn't know they were going to do that. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> I'd been drinking. <laughs> and he said, it's not your fault. I was like, fuck, maybe it's not. You know? I think about it all the time. Go, that was go. a very impactful I scene. I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, and then I'm like starting to go through my memories and I'm like, have I inserted that scene into like my life at times or did a therapist do that to me? All therapists can no longer do that. 
Because that's like you hack. When you start doing that, you're like, dude, really? Are you, Are you good, good, good hunting good me? Are you hunting me yeah. right now? Yeah, I would be so pissed that some therapist <laughs> said that. It's not your fault. I'd be like, fuck, it's your like, fault, dude. We know what you just watched yeah. last night. It's your fault that you just lost me as a client. But then also, too, then you're like, you start thinking about Robin Williams. You're like, oh, my God. He's like, hung oh. <laughs> Like, he slipped. Wait, like, did he? Yes. <laughs> Because he had Parkinson's and shit. He had, like, he was going nuts. Yeah, that's fair enough. Bleep, bleep, bleep. There's going to be like, bleep, 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 bleep. My, did I tell my Robin Williams story on here? You met him? You friends no, with him? No, 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 I did meet him once, but, and he was wearing a bike hat, which is, like, weird. Yeah, a bike? I could see you wearing one. Have you ever worn one with a little flipped up thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you with like 20 dicks in your It'd mouth. Like, cool. what's up with that? It would That's be so cool. unfair. You... I'm not like, you look like this, you look like that. You look like gay boy. Like, I think you're cool, but calling you a gay boy, you, you deserve You don't look like anything call bad. Call you a gay why boy. Do you gonna, don't get why, to why not look... do the primitive, like the, the middle you... school gay shit. You've never got gay bashed. I, oh, yes, I did. I'm making you true I got gay. gay bashed for being a skateboarder oh, in school. That's pretty bad. I, when I skateboarded, it wasn't cool. It was always cool. No, it wasn't. No, ask Tony Hawk. Do you still skateboard? Yeah, I'm going yeah. tomorrow morning. Really? Yeah. Do you get scared of getting hurt? Or more so than ever. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it's not it's not worth quitting. You can't nah, quit. No. Nah. And then I, how I do you feel about your brain? Do you think you got hit too many times? Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Really? You don't seem like it. No, I'm I'm all right, but maybe later. I think you might have gotten too much. What's that? You think sucking dick makes your memory no, bad? No, I think when you were a little... Uh, oh, the most... The craziest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but that... I turned that into fuel. Of course. You know? Like, yeah. all my forced yeah, what sexual do you think things. Here? Yeah, I was like... What do you think we're all doing here? Watch me, you know? <laughs> we're in Anywood for a reason. <laughs> yeah. we, had, we had inappropriate wood in our childhood, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I'm proving some shit right now. I always take your teacher to court, girl. I'm like, look at me now, bitches. Guys, I love a good, good, good doctor. Oh, my God. I love doctors. I never used to like doctors because it was too hard to find them. Sometimes. I was looking around. I was going, I can't find a doctor anywhere. <laughs> I'm on the street. I'm in people's houses. I'm knocking on doors. Well, you can catch a ride with just a few taps on your phone or order food <laughs> that gets not, you immediately you did not brought read to ahead. you. you did, I read ahead, and I'm so happy to see that you did not read ahead. <laughs> so why is finding and booking a great doctor still such an annoying process? It is annoying, but it's not anymore. And I'm telling you, I'm getting, I'm literally, I'm, I'm reworking the whole system now. Okay, I'm getting everything done. Before Annie used to only get her cookie checked once. What, every six months? Now you go every single week. I go, what are you doing back at the doctor getting your cookie checked? Well, I just want to make sure it's nice and fresh for my bow. I did have to get my cookie checked at the beginning, remember? I do. We'll talk about that on a solo app. <laughs> it's actually a pretty funny story, or is it embarrassing? Um, Listen, you guys have heard me say this before, and I hope you believe me because this is one of my favorite apps. I'm so excited they're one of our ads. It's free to you. You don't have to pay anything for it. It is such a treat for me to share it with you guys. I've gotten my teeth fixed. I got my head fixed. And my dad always said, if it's between the eyes or between the thighs, you go to the doctor. And ZocDoc has made that possible for me. Before ZocDoc, uh, I would shake Annie's head and it would sound like a broken light bulb. You know how it's like, ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a broken light bulb. And now what does it sound now like? Now you don't hear anything. You shake it and it sounds, <laughs> sounds intact. <laughs> ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. Once you find the doc of your dreams, book them immediately with a few taps on the app. 
I love it. I really do like this. This is. <laughs> it's her favorite. It's her favorite app. I just love ZocDoc. I really do. If there's a, a doctor named Zoc, I want to meet him. Well, I heard the average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 48 hours. You can even score same day appointments. That's amazing. No, it really is incredible. And I am actually someone who did this before and I needed it. When you have a toothache, you have no clue what's going on. Gingivitis. It actually ended up just being I needed a clean. But. I mean, how incredible. I, I was afraid I was going to lose a tooth. I was like, when I first started this podcast, I kind of got scared that I wasn't going to like my ads. And I was going to have to lie to you. I am not a liar. I'm a real one. And so it's so amazing that our ads are so cool. And this is like one of my favorite ads ever. This is such a cool product. I hope you guys all try it and get all of your cookies cleaned. Looked at. Looked at. Get them looked at. Get them looked at. And sometimes I got to scrub it out a little bit. <laughs> They got to scrape it and send in the scrapings to see what you got. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Annie and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Annie. ZocDoc.com slash Annie. Esther, when I was on uh, Trash Tuesday, <clears throat> she was like, she started laughing in the middle of it. She goes, she's like, I go, what are you laughing? And she's like, I was just imagining, like, imagine you like are a teacher and you like, do something to a student and then they're but the students you <laughs> like she's like he must be in such hell every day like thinking like the loudest most annoying person ever yeah yeah wrong bitch wow <laughs> wrong kid but you were gonna be you were gonna be you yeah something was gonna it's just i feel like everybody that tries to be the best at something when you try to be the best, there's levels. And when you get to a certain level, it gets so hard that most people go, oh, man, I didn't know it was going to get that hard. I was only willing to go this far. Yeah. But when you have what we have, then there is no, what, there's no other choice. Yeah. I don't have it like, oh, no, it's really bad. Well, okay, it's really bad. Also, like, I'm not I stopping. Back, I look back when I was like living out of my car to do comedy. I was like, I would yeah. sleep in my car. I'm like, see, that's what I think is fun. happening to me. That was me. like fun. That's it what I think fun. is happening to me. I got into comedy and I'm like, you're getting in it and you're already like pro skateboarder, successful radio guy. I could tell I heard people say shit when I first showed up. They think that I'm going to get a free run. And I do know people. People did give me shots that other that nobody's would wouldn't get. No way yeah. I would get that. Like crazy deals. But. I was like, I'm not trying to, I'm T.I. started around the same time as me and I heard how we just did like hours. Isn't it so funny? And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but hey, you can it's do like, that. And they were like, yeah, you're, you can do it. but you Yeah, can. but why would you do that to your fans? Like, why would you make them before you're like giving them the best show? But all the comedians all have that story where they're all in their cars. And I remember when I first started, I started to feel bad because I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'd go to these little spots where you know, there's like five people in the crowd. Everybody who's going up is sleeping in their car or just made it into an apartment. And then Rich Dick is over here who's going to go up and do well, stuff. I think the but dad story really equals you out, you know? I think the comedy <laughs> gods were like, get down here, you know, like really yeah. get down here and start again. But so I don't think you're starting happening. again. I think you're fine. I think you're just, it's a transition. You yeah. can't go back. It's a mindset. Yeah. It's like Trump went bankrupt. Look at him. Can't yeah, tell. How do you do that? You can't tell. It's cool how you do that. What? Just be bankrupt? Just be bankrupt and still rich. You are never stop being rich. Yeah, like how, you what? just decide to never stop being rich. Yeah, you just I never don't stop know how that works, but <laughs> it sounds cool. No, I, my like subconscious beliefs about my life are like, you're always about to make it so that yeah. I always stay at this level of feeling yeah. like about to. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to break and just be like, you're here. Any minute now, yeah. And you're already, you're already in, you know, you've made it. Yeah. You've already. You know, what's funny. My mom made this, like, my mom made this like scrapbook of her life in different years. And it, and I was looking through it when I went home and she's, my mom like draws and stuff. So she like drew all these little things and stuff. And she cut out all these pictures of the family and stuff. And in 2012, she goes, Annie's career explodes. And I was like, that's so cute. That's what she thought. Yeah. Cause I was like. For sure, asleep in like a Prius. Like, yeah. ah, ah, I'm hungry. I remember saying to my dad, I'm like, I'm cutting two pieces of bacon and I'm cutting a piece of bacon in half. So it feels like two pieces, dad. I'm broke. <laughs> wow. I felt, I mean, I, but it's like I wasn't that, but you know, I was fine. Yeah, I could have yeah. gotten a job. I just didn't want to. I wanted yeah. to do stand up. But fair. that's like around when I had that. I was living in my car. 
I had the TV show in between living in cars. All right. I was living in a car, moved in with this uh, rollerblader. Talk about gay bashing. Oh. And um, and then how was that? It was like it you was rollerblade crashing. in the house. He didn't rollerblade in the house, but oh. did you go rollerblading with him? No. Did you touch his he rollerblades? Would come back. I did touch his rollerblades. I would put him on every once in a while. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah. Did he you feel just weird after you took him off. Like something happened bad. I no, I didn't have a sore asshole or anything, but he just like, yeah, he just he rollerbladed. Just like, that was yeah. like his thing. No, I, I I've met a lot of them, and I get it. Each to their own, I say. You know? He didn't go pro. Nothing like it didn't like happen for him. So it was like, okay, your hobby is. Oh, like he was going to be a, a professional in his head, player. you know. Yeah. But it was like when he turned thirty and. And At 30. all he wanted to do was, all he wanted to do, <laughs> Jason, all he wanted to do was like go to an elementary school to like skate down the. The rails. Sk- yeah. Yeah. Like his mom and Big I on his 30th. Guy, 30. Yeah. His mom and I <laughs> Not on a his longevity 30th for that birthday. One, you know? No, Just there saying. was no future. And then he would always like, he was like really broke. And um, I was basically supporting like him. like this guy. And he, and he would like break his phone and it would be like life ruining. You know, you're yeah. broken, like your phone breaks, yeah. Yeah. even though it's like, you can always fix it. And there's always a deal. There's always yeah. some way to get your phone oh, back. You would lose it. He would, he would cry. He'd come in oh, and he'd no. be like devastated. And it would be like, I'll buy you another phone, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but this but was like. you this rollerblader. Yeah. I was living with him for three wow. years. I didn't, it was supposed to be a two month like hang. And then I was yeah. living in my car when we met. So we moved in together. Did you ever go watch him rollerblade? No, right. no, no, no. On his birthday, but this is what I was going to say. Wait, on his birthday? On his birthday, I did. On his 30th birthday. You went for and then a birthday rollerblade. I, I watched him. I <laughs> let him cool. like carry me on his shoulders. Yeah. And then, so he wanted to go to Disneyland yeah. for his birthday. Did he take his boots off? Took them off. His mom was uh, there. His mom was there. His mom was there. For his 30th birthday, 30th he went birthday to birthday Disneyland with his mom. <laughs> with his mom? Yeah. And, and you. I mean, and you went. I was trying to get out. Did you of stay it. the whole time? I was in my head. I was going, "Can you break up with someone on their birthday when their mom's in no, town at Disney?" No. I was like, literally, no, like can't. I have to get out of this. And then I was like, I kept trying to not like have anything monumental happen because I just wanted to forget right. the day. You know, I just didn't, I didn't want it to become monumental, a core memory. Like I just didn't you, want it to be a core t- memory. You don't want to like fall and get a cut and there's a scar oh, and then okay. there's the yeah, scar. Yeah. You don't want to like. You just don't want anything too crazy to happen so it doesn't like sink. The memory yeah. doesn't stay. Yeah. And then I was sitting down, I was eating a turkey leg and my phone blows up and people were like, Robin Williams died. And oh, I was that's... like, no. And I like, so now I always remember it. Because oh, it, no. it was when Robin Williams died. You could have said, oh my God, I don't think I can date you anymore. Robin Williams died. <laughs> I'm feeling so horrible yeah. about it. No, you know what I did? I, um... How long, how much longer did you go after that particular party? A month, maybe. A month? I went to Ireland. I went to Ireland. With him? No, 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 no. Oh. I went to Ireland. I got into the Vodafone Comedy Festival. I don't know what it's called now, but you got to get into it. It's yeah. a comedy festival in Ireland. It's fun. Awesome. They fly you out. I think Shit. I got like 5,000 bucks. It was like the most I'd ever made in comedy. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm rich. I'm, this is awesome. Yeah, you don't need your boyfriend anymore. I go anymore. out there. I'm like, <laughs> Like every comic I've ever wanted to bang was like on the festival. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I'm not going to cheat on this, but I'm going to fuck you later. I'm going to fuck you later. Like it was like crazy. I was like pulling my tits out. I was like, woo. I was like yeah. feeling great, you know? I was like, oh, I'm going to break up with this guy. And right before I left, his mom had been in town. It was his birthday, for his birthday. And she goes, I was like, I was looking at Airbnbs. I was like, I'm going to go early to like stay in an Airbnb. I'm like renting a car. I'm so excited to go to Ireland. And she goes, she goes, yeah, Ben's really sad. He can't go with you. I go, oh, no, 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 no. I go, I have worked so hard. Like what, who's sad about what? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. Go get back to Jersey, bitch. <laughs> he talked to her house. to talk to you. To tell like how, yeah. like oh. my happy thing was a sad yeah. thing for him. Oh my God. Well, the worst part is, is this guy cheated on Annie. And Drew. then I got to <laughs> cheated on me. Oh my God. It's like, just, I would have been so happy to like, just break up. You got cheated on by been, a rollerblader. I got cheated on by a rollerblader. And I'll tell you with who after you the show. You call me gay. I'll tell you who after the show. You know her. Commit, for real. Yeah. I mean, I'm sweating my spray tan It's off. really hot. Do I look crazy? Do I look crazy? No. No, you look fine. But it is hot <sighs> as fuck. It's hot as hell. You just got yourself a little workout. 
I know yeah, PTSD. Did you see me? I'm like, and then she said this. Yeah. She said the R that's word to happened. me. I know. I've gone quiet. I feel a little. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Annie. You know I mean? You're like, it's going to be okay. Yeah. I mean, you do have a guy right here. So who's that? You know? No, I love my boyfriend, my fiance. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. He proposed to me at a, on the way to a Chris Angel concert. Yep. <laughs> He, it was perfect. Yep. <laughs> well, at least you didn't get Chris Angel to like give it to her or anything. No, we, we wanted tried. to. We tried. I was he hoping he'd like, like pull he it. He wouldn't do it? it. Not only would what he not do it. Bitch. Not only would he that not do it. Sucks. I knew that guy. I mean, I've always no. known that guy sucked. <laughs> Look, but I now know it's comments. like fully official. But you know what? I'm gonna be real about it. Even though it was very nice of them to get us the backstage passes and stuff, I think we can talk shit now, right? It's been long enough. Wait, you got backstage passes. Yeah, because man. you called somebody his yeah my yeah. manager your manager made some con some yeah. connections <laughs> but you but you didn't try to reach out and say hey yes, chris I angel did. yes you I did, did. I, and he replied he said, no i i had her he managers had, be like hey can i like do something like on the show to like and, the, and, and he my was, manager <laughs> calls him and is like absolutely he was he, like chris, chris said, absolutely he not. said absolutely not he's like he doesn't even want you to do it around the show like at all like it has to be like completely opposite. Is that from the up? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I'm good at that. I don't even have to meet people to know they suck. I knew that dude sucked. He was on TMZ today. <laughs> Doing what? I don't know. Promoting his, Promoting his cancer. Kids no, he's thing. trying to break Houdini's record oh, for something. Right. Oh, I don't know. shut <laughs> up. His show. When are we getting over magicians? Seriously. Like but watching also girls want to magician because he pulled a card a card out of his ass is so disgusting to me like i the last time i remember i remember watching like girls drool over a guy that made all these cards linked together it was was it remarkable yeah but it's a card like you think that he's gonna like make magic on your vagina like no it's not how it works they do that that is they do. But they can't. Magicians don't. I don't know. David I Copperfield wasn't... sucks in bed. But you know what? David Blaine. Is it David Blaine? David Blaine. David Blaine, I saw something where he's like, I've been submerged in water for four days. It's like, first of all, you haven't. No, he actually did that. How did he breathe? Submerged? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, he wasn't. You just said submerged. Yeah, oh, his head was wasn't under? Yeah. Or, yeah, he's like, has like a tube or something. It's like, Who? David, what? Who? Kids. <laughs> it's like, also, like always having a one up. Skimboarding, like, you know, like oh, good for you. <laughs> but also, but who it's cares? like it's like David retire. What's going on, David what, Copperfield? Don't retire, just no retire. I'm if you want to go to a David, I don't know. Like David Blaine's good for famous people at restaurants. That's what David Blaine's. <laughs> he good like for. comes up and like <laughs> he comes up, he stabs himself with a pin, and I mean, everyone goes, "Whoa, it's disgusting!" And he goes, "Enjoy your cutlets," you know, like he doesn't. He sucks balls, <laughs> levitating. And I blame women. It's women. You made him levitate. Just you wanted him to us. levitate keep so you could us. suck him off because keep you got nothing else going for you. You, you know? sound like an incel. What's an incel? The guys that can't get laid, they get mad at magicians because they can. <laughs> See, that's like when I, if I say I've got a big dick, people say, people say, people that say they got a big dick don't have a big dick. I've seen you suck. I've got your a big dick. dick, and magicians suck. Do you think uh, being a magician is a small dick or a big dick move? I don't think you can. I don't think. I think that's no. No, I don't think it's a penis thing. I think it, it could be a penis thing it's that causes your insecurities, thing. but it's more. I think of, it's a big dick. You're thing. an odd guy or girl, and you're using magic Are there female to magicians? connect. No, right? Oh He's, my no. God, I'm done no. with comedy. What's going on? <laughs> Wait a second. There is. Have you seen one? What Tell if me I did about it the world had, like, famous hot dudes. You mean Ma Mary, the world famous magician? There's no. <laughs> all, all we do is get sawed in half by them. This is bullshit. It is. I'm gonna there be. There isn't one. Google, because I swear oh, there's got to be one. There's got to be one. It's but, like the magic, but it's gonna be one that's like the magic of menopause. Yes. They're like menopause jokes. <laughs> oh my god! You pull I was, a tampon out. Oh, uh, it'll be something like that. Wrap it out yeah. of her vagina. That'd be cool. It's all bloody. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Bleep it out, Todd. I feel bad. I don't bleep it out. You suck. <laughs> They're in his pocket. They're always in everyone's pockets. Also, the guy that picked us up from—he picked us up from. We were going from the wind back to whatever 
hotel we were staying at. And the cab driver was like, whatever you do, don't go to what's his name show. Oh, everyone always tells me not to go. And we were like, Chris Angel. And he was like, yeah, everyone says that's the worst show they've ever seen. And we're yeah. like, we already went. <laughs> we went. And was it amazing? There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I really appreciate okay. him saying If you like name. Affliction for that long, <laughs> you The suck. most famous female magician is Dorothy Dietrich. And is that not enough? Of course she's a- And she's more of a just escape artist. Dyke trick. Her name is Dyke trick. <laughs> Dyke trick. Faye Presto, <laughs> who was born in 1948. By the way, these Wait. are the most famous. Wait, she was We've born never in- heard of them. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> oh, she died. Really? She came and gone. She and might we be don't alive. know. <laughs> are any of them like what? Dorothy Dietrich was born in 1969. Okay. So she's all right. But there's right. nobody out there right now booming. Jen Kramer. Oh my God. Nobody this is cares. Tragic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Ladies Sorry, out so. there, yeah. all I can say is. Get a trade. Uh, yeah. Learn to knit. I don't know, guys. It's not good for us. Okay? Do magic because it's your. You would run the whole yeah, female yeah. magic world. I'm literally about to quit comedy and become right? a f-ing magician. I gotta get a boob job though. You gotta have Why big you, tits. Oh, okay. You Why, gotta to hide, have big, big to tits. To hide things magician. in them. I think one to hide things in right. them. What and about also- if you got fake boobs, but you got fake boobs made with in pockets? So that you can for your, your magical skills. I'm not revealing my tricks already. Like you press a button, a little canary comes I out. I just set my whole career up and you just ruined it. Sorry. I mean, I had a 30 second career. Yeah, I would have been I was amazing. On top, I was for 30 seconds. I was the top female magician yeah. that ever existed. If you could make confetti squirt out of your nipples, that they would called be... me Houdini. Oh, <laughs> so sick. That's when Whitney's always like, they call me Ho Rogan. I'm like, nobody's called you that, Whitney. Who called yeah. you that? Jason Ellis, maybe when he was trying to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll call her whatever she wants. Would you bang her pregnant? Yeah. She's a good looking pregnant lady. Yeah. She's so cute. I like I pregnant ladies. I've seen pregnant women before. You have? Yeah. Like Does my one, weird? but also another girl. Does it feel weird to be like poking another baby? Nah. No, I didn't look at that. Because I, I, I do know enough. I'm pretty uneducated, but I know that like a penis doesn't hit a baby when you have sex with a pregnant person. So. Nice try. Well, (laughs) you're not a doctor, so I am not going to take your word for that. Okay, I'm the magician here. Just because you got my one trick before I did it. It would have been great. I say still good. I'm going to start doing magic. Right? I I am a trained hypnotist. Yeah, bullshit. No, I am. I would never do like stage hypnosis, but I am trained in it. It doesn't. It's not real. Oh, my God. Give me a cigarette. I can't smoke it. I'm oh, hypnotized not to. <laughs> I can't wait to get you a nicotine sponsor. I can't wait to have one too. It's gonna happen. Do you know how this this is the coolest so far? The coolest comedy store story ever for me is I'm sitting down and I'm putting one of those things in my mouth, and Mark Marin sits down next to me and he goes, "What are those?" And I go, "Uh, the tobacco things." He's like, "Have you ever tried lozenges?" And I'm like, "Nah." And he's like, "Try these." And I try, I get, he gives it to me and then cherry leaves. Cherry flavored, right? Or mint? I don't know. No, it wasn't cherry. It was like a mint, mint thing. Yeah. But he gives it to me. I put it in my mouth. And then I'm, I'm like, holy shit, Mark Marin just talked to me. And he leaves. And then he comes back. And I'm like, oh shit. He's like, how is it? I'm like, how's what? He's like, the lozenger. I'm like, oh, uh, I don't really feel it. He's like, you got to suck on it. And I'm like, oh, okay. I thought you said put it under your tongue. He's like, no, suck on it. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then instantly it kicked in. I'm like, oh, I feel it. He's like, and then if you and then if you feel too much, put it back under your tongue and you rest again. I'm like, oh, so you can like turn it on and off. He's like, there you go. And I'm like, dude. And Imagine then he, sh- and then he showed this. me the container. Like, 
you're welcome. You know what I mean? I was like, Sick. Imagine while you're telling me this story, I just pull a lozenge out of my tit. That would Imagine. be- Imagine. That, see what I mean? Get a tit oh. job. It's Get like, what am I doing right with these tiny now, tits? Yeah. Why I'm are like, you talking oh, to me right now so when you could have a procedure table. in your breasts? Put so much money on the table. No, Marin years ago got me into those lozenges, the yeah. Nicorette ones that are like in the, yeah. And I was in Vegas at the same time, I was doing shows at the same time as Hannibal Burris. Yeah. And we were going to like, we were doing some like random show at someone's like a bar show or something. So we were in the same car and I was like, does anybody want a Nicorette lozenge? Just being like friendly and nice, not thinking. And he goes, yeah, let me get one. And I go, are you sure? And I just, he takes a four milligram. I break them in half. I can't do four, I do two milligrams. And he just, I just hear him like biting down and I go, no, no, no. He was like chewing and I go, no Hannibal, no. And Hannibal is so like, he doesn't like show weakness. Okay. Hannibal, so he's like, mm. he's like, no, I'm fine. And I go, Hannibal, that's crazy. And he's like, no, I'm fine. And like the window rolls down, and he's like sweating. <laughs> and he starts hiccuping and I'm like dying laughing. I'm like, and he will not admit he's like going through something. But that's my lozenge story and Mark got me into that. So you got him too? Yeah, I, I used them for a little while, but now I love Lucy Gum and that is a great oh, yeah, gum, guys. Lucy, I wish I had Lucy promo, Gum. Promo code, what is it, Annie one? Annie five? Really? Yeah. Oh my God, I love Lucy. It really is the best. I have a show with Tony Hawk, just saying, Lucy. I know. Uh, <laughs> they can't, because they... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was me skateboarding. <laughs> no, I got it. I totally got it. Yeah. They're athletes, they yeah. can't. Now, how are you friends with him, just from skateboarding? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Was Pretty he cool. better than you? <laughs> He's Tony He's Hawk. He's the best, the right? Fuck? Well, I don't know how good you are. I don't know anything about, I really like- I beat him once. Yeah. yeah I didn't know you could beat each other. What do you race? You get points you for compete. all the things you do? You compete. Don't in talk contests. to me like this. What are you I'm talking about? I'm a fucking about? magician. I am are you aware of one, the X Games? I am the number Have one you... female magician. You're not until you get those Don't sweet you fucking titties. talk to me like this. No, yeah, but you get points for all of the Ollie Oops you do. <laughs> you fucking rollerblade. Scares. I didn't watch them. Like, over here, sorry, dude. But I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about it. You do, Ali. I did like no. The, the reason, out of here. But I did bang skaters, and the reason I bang <laughs> skaters is because <laughs> you guys have good uh, style. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to dress a skater. Skater's not a dress. Yeah, yeah. We're cool, man. Yeah, Todd skaterish. He had a skateboarder too. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, I used to skate. Oh yeah. yeah I, don't know. I was a uh, kid. And then I fucked up my ankle and I was like, no more. That's what happens. <laughs> See what I mean? But not you, then, right? Then, then there's the dumb ones that go, I'll be back. Yeah. yeah. And then what? after you were skateboarding, but you were like, let me go get my head hit too? Yeah, that was a terrible choice. To but you switch won. From... Didn't you win? Yeah. I've, I mean, I've lost fights too. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like lot. to think the way he explained it, Todd was like reading your Wikipedia to me. And the way he said it was like, oh, he won a couple of times and then he just quit. I'm like, that's so funny if you just did it and won twice and then quit. I mean, that's kind of what I did. Is it? That's yeah. genius. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah, because I didn't want to have a career because I knew if you had a career, you were going to be, you would, you would be so hurt. And by the time I started pro MMA fighting, I was 38 when I got my pro license. Okay. Like literally the, the table looked down yeah. at me and went, why are you here? Yeah. And I was like, because I want to, I'm not here for a career. I'm here to fight. I want yeah. to see what it's like to put yourself in a position where you, you no one's going to help you. This is just you. You can get, you know what I mean? Like, you got to beat this guy. Yeah. And it was the ultimate test, and it was the ultimate fear. Like, I was so scared of it that I had to do it. Well, I did jujitsu not to fight. I yeah. did it to impress Joe Rogan. <laughs> How'd that go for it? He liked it. He thought it was cool. Yeah. No, I liked doing not. Jiu-jitsu was fun. It was a good exercise and stuff, but I never wanted to get hurt. I was like, right. I can't keep doing this. I'm going to get hurt. See, that's the thing. But I it was tell. so fun. And I t I always am like to Todd, I'm like, I think I'm going to do jujitsu again. And he's like, you'd have to take your earrings out. I'm like, eh, never mind. It's like that, like, wow. that's yeah, how maybe, much. Maybe sports is not the, <laughs> the thing for you. I have to take my earrings um, uh, out? No. I don't want to take them out. They're so cute. I have nails. Okay. I don't have nails anymore. You could box with uh, ear earrings in. Yeah, I would. Do you box? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll box. That's more what Not I do. Not that you invited me to, but I'll go. I am. I, I teach girls all the time. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. You consider me a girl? Yeah. What Aww. the? Aw. I haven't gotten my tits yet. Uh, you were like, that. I was like, I'm not blowing up. You're like, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> and, like, yeah, kicked a rock. I was like, all right, damn, Jason. I did I? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty shitty at text messages though. That's okay. I don't I'm not illiterate. So I just keep it pretty short. Well, you got punched in the head a couple of times. I was dumb before I got punched in the head. Well, you know, sometimes well, things dumb. happen. Shouldn't say that. I'm very smart. I'm just, yeah, I didn't Me go too. to school at all. I went to school, but I didn't, go I didn't at learn all, at all. Did you go to high school? I, I left the year I was legally allowed to leave education. How old? 15. And then I failed the two years before I left, so. I didn't pass anything. They were like, somebody, something's happened to this guy. I had dyslexia and it was also back in the day where if you didn't learn, they didn't care. You could just sit there. You I know? have diagnosed myself with dyslexia recently. I called my dad. I go, dad, I think I have dyslexia. He goes, he's like, at your age, Annie, who gives a f***ing shit? And I was like, you're right. I know, because you've already made it. <laughs> he's just like, yeah. what are you going to read? Like, what are you going to start yeah. reading? I, know, I, I like, wrote a oh, book. Makes sense. I'm a New York Times bestseller. I, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even, I haven't even read it. What's your book called? Uh, I'm awesome. The first oh. one did it was New York Times bestseller. Then they gave made me another one where I had to be awesome. So it was just like a joke. I was like shave your neck hair and stuff. Yeah. And then the third one we did. Third one. Yeah, without a publisher because it was about the gay stuff a little bit. And publishers don't want to do that. I didn't, nah. And, and then the book did terrible too. My fans hate me now. Like the whole gay switch, I didn't realize. I was, I was on serious talking to Blue Collar. Like I just, just dove off. Tim Dillon has a very beautiful career, so don't worry about it. Yeah, but You're he fine. does it in a way where you're not sure about him. Until you see me hanging like, out. Like, I mean, yeah, is he gay? Yeah, but that's the only gay thing about that dude. Yeah. You know, everything else is, and I've, you know, I'm super about what, whatever I'm feeling, I talk about it. And I've been trying to figure out who I am, what I'm into. I think it's good, though. No, you're going to find it's just. Okay, I, going to the Taylor Swift concert, you okay. see all of her fan base and you go like, oh, my God, because in my head, sometimes I'm like, it's hard. Like, I, I'll go like, I'll let myself have like the it's hard as a woman thing. So in my head for a second, I'll go, I don't know. It's like I'm in comedy. This is like a boys club or whatever. These are like the audiences are. And then you're like, you see Taylor Swift and you go like, there's like so many women and yeah. gay guys that just want to see, you know what I mean? Where it's like, it's just whatever limitations you yeah. believe are the limitations that exist, yeah. but you're just going to have to transition your. That's what I'm doing. But that's funny. I wonder how many of those guys that are mad at you are little gay boys that don't want to come out. Yeah. A lot. They're like, Oh, this guy. I have a private Twitter for all my only fan stuff. And I have to like accept everybody. And it's just tons of people that are. Like, They're just like, Oh, Bears fans and stuff where they're not gay at all. But what are you doing in um, your OnlyFans? Give me a everything. give me a day in the life of the OnlyFans. Uh, you know, I take photos of myself, portraits and stuff, naked and half chubbed and all that crap. Are you like? Is your face like? Mm, no. Are you like? Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, join me. <laughs> kind of. Join yeah. me in your mind. And then there's stuff with girls and stuff with trans girls. Stuff with trans, trans girls, you must like a lot, right? Because mm -hmm. that's fun. It's best yep. of both worlds. Uh, the trans guys, I like even more. Trans guys are so. Because I like that pussy, you know. Trans guys are so cute. Yeah. Do you like Buck Angel? You guys are like twinsies. We're kind of friends. I like Buck my, Angel a lot. Not my type. Really? Because he's ginger beard. No, he's just like. He looks like you. I'm he's not, like a I'm, cousin. I'm into like I'll show you uh, the person that I'm kind of seeing is like he's Big black he's guy. a guy, but you can tell he's. He's both. He's magical. I, cute way to put it. I love trans men so much. They're so, I'm always like, they're so like cute. And like, um, I know it's crazy to say a whole genre of people are cute. So come at me. But, um, but I'm always like, it's like a man that's not going to like me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you're like a man, but you're like not going to like in an alleyway it's like I, so what's cool so sad is i think they really have an angle because of that but you know what i mean you're just like, like oh. well you're a guy but it's like i'm yeah. traumatized you're in control yeah. of it yeah. yeah i love a top surgery i yeah. love me too we had um we had robbie hoffman take her her top off robbie hoffman do you know her mm. she has a top surgery she's not trans but she was just like i don't want these things get them yeah, off yeah. and so she took her shirt off and it was like controversy in the in the in the, you know, the comments, everyone's like, right. oh, okay, why would you do this? All these guys, it's like, this is a boob job. 
Yeah. It is a boob job the other direction. It yeah. is the same thing. Yeah. Everyone is mutilating their bodies. Yeah. Everyone's getting Botox. Everyone's getting nose jobs. Yeah. Everyone's getting facelifts. It's making them happy. It's like, oh my God, let like them cut their tits off. It's making them feel off. like themselves. Like, or, or even if you don't want to be a man and you just want them off, it's none of your yes. fucking business. It's yeah. so crazy that it's- Just let them, how it's, could like you? it's like tattoos. It's not my, it's not your tattoos. chest. But it's like how people felt about tattoos back in the day. You know, yeah. it's like, eventually this is going to be so normal. Yeah. No, I remember so my parents, normal. my first tattoo. You're going to regret that. My, it's my favorite tattoo. What is it? Metallica on the side of my oh, leg. Oh, do you know them? I've met them. I don't I know I feel them. like you would yeah. know I them. met them once. I did a red carpet thing. This is so crazy. When I was still a pro skateboarder, I was on. I went to like the ESPY Awards and like because mm -hmm. I was a skateboarder and we were invited that year. And I worked for ESPN and somebody didn't show up on the red carpet. And at the last second, someone was like, hey, Jason, will you do the red carpet for us? And I was already drinking with my buddy. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. And they go, okay, cool. Come to this hotel room. They give me jewelry. I'm like, what? And it's like like gold chains with like diamond crosses and stuff. And I don't, I'm not religious at yeah. all, but I was like, hell yeah. Yeah, anyway. yeah, of course. So I had that on. I had like a do-rag on. Because I was going out <laughs> being an idiot. And I'm doing these interviews with people. I don't care who they are. And then there's a lady that tells you who's next. And she goes, okay, Jason, so next you've got Metallica. And I go, yeah, okay, seriously, who's next? And they're like, Metallica. And I look down the line, I'm like, you got to be joking me. <laughs> and then there, it's three of them because J Jason wasn't on Metallica yet. And it was, uh, like Kirk came up because the other two were still talking. And I go, hey, man, I'm your biggest fan. And, and he looks up and down me and goes, yeah, right. Because I was dressed and all yoga yeah, and shit. Wonder, yeah. <laughs> and then Lars and James come over and I go, guys, I, I'm your biggest fan. And Lars is like, yeah, so he's been saying. I go, I swear to God. And I start I'm undoing my pants because I got Metallica yeah. tattoo on my leg. And they're like, what the fuck? You're like, suck You're my dick, I'll yeah. show you. <laughs> so I pull my pants down and they they rubbed it to make sure it was real. And then, <laughs> and then I showed them the rock lock and then they were being friendly to me. So it was like maybe the coolest moment they of my life. rubbed your tattoo? Did to you see get if a it was real. Did you get a? Did no, you smack him in the I forehead? I don't chub up to <laughs> Metallica rubbing her leg. I don't chub up to Metallica. It's different. But what Stop. if? Stop! Like, but why is the if? gay? But what if? What if I had sex with Metallica? What if? Ew! It's like having sex with my brothers or something. It's disgusting. You only like having sex with brothers. <laughs> no, mix it up. But that is cool though. It's pretty fun. I like that. I wouldn't know. I'm with. Half Asian. You haven't? No, never You're will. racist. Well, I was waiting for my dad to die because he's so liberal. He would be too braggy about it. Okay, good. I wasn't sure He'd what you were going to say. Yeah. We'd never leave the post office. He'd be like, my daughter had made love to an African-American. <laughs> my dad told me something so funny today, and he told me not to say it on a podcast. I want to say it so bad. <laughs> you, it's and so here funny. it goes. Can I just say yeah. it, and we can edit it out, maybe? Wow. That is a retreat he right there. Today. Isn't they that fixed amazing? Him, huh? But yeah. we have to edit it out because he asked me. He goes, I hope this doesn't end up on a podcast. And I feel like he's going to love you. So he's definitely going to listen to this one. Right. It's so cute. My dad was like, I was listening to an old uh, Mean Inspiration episode of you and Bonnie McFarland today. He just listens. My dad Aww, just like, isn't that so, so awesome. cute? Yes. He's 82. He's just like going on walks at the mall and listening to his daughter talk You're shit. You're so lucky. That's I know. So cool. And guess what? He never... Yeah, no, that's good. But he yeah. probably would be very. My mom didn't do her. anything, so that's cool. Yeah, she's alive. She's coming to see me. She's gonna see you second time. <laughs> she probably has. Yeah. She's very proud of you. I feel like yeah. of every mother, if their kid can get their mouth on shaft, would be like, <laughs> right? Because we yeah, all know that you're trying. Yeah, my mom's cool like that. My mom is. She knows that I'm a, a bi guy and all that stuff, and she's like, "How's it going over there?" And, she said I sounded a little down. I was like, oh, it's whatever, I'm okay. She's like, get lonely. And I was like, a little bit. And she's like, well, you know, going out with girls, it's overrated, like long time, long term. It's like you're more of a, what's that thing called? Friends with benefits. <laughs> like that's what you're looking boy. for. And I was like, yeah, mom, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. She, and it's fun you're like it this, out. but you also have kids. So it's like you've given her like grant, you're giving her yeah. every spectrum yes. of motherhood. Yeah, this is what it's like to have thousands of sons. <laughs> yeah. Have it all. All right, Jason, this was awesome. Do you have when's this gonna come out? 
there's, there's oh next week I don't, i don't i'm not a, a comedian yet i'm still trying so i don't have like tour dates or anything like that but i have a website the jason ellis.com two podcasts and i have two podcasts i will be on the method for my special looking forward to that on one, the one you asked me to do and then i do a patreon patreon.com slash ellis mate i do five shows a week on there so really i'm busy boy yeah oh and then hulk versus wolf and the jason ellis show that's crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right. You do it all over your house? Yeah. Out of your house, yeah. Well, not the not Hulk versus Wolf. But we have two studios. Patreon. Patreon's from my house. And it's just audio? Nah. Oh audio video. God. Well, I guess you don't have to do your hair. No. Well, you have to shave it a lot. How often do you have to shave your head? Whenever I want. Oh my God, I'm sweating so much. I know, it's so yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry. All right, guys. This is Jason. He's got a big dick. You, he can. I helped oh, my, him suck my it. Only, and you his guys, only fans, yes. Yeah, this is the right podcast for Please. that. Please. Yeah, uh, only fans slash Wolfmate. And that's to you, Dad. Make sure you probably don't, Dad. Don't do that. Seriously, Dad. <laughs> don't like do it. that. Listen, don't. he's eighty-two. You don't I think know, he's interested in checking it oh. out? <laughs> Dad, check it out. I'll, I'll, I'll Venmo you the money. <laughs> How much is it a month? Okay, Twenty. Deal. Twenty bucks a month. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure right now for this, I'll be too late. But oh I, my god, you have discounts. It was discounts? a five dollar special right now. No way, for the there's whole something week. that's my favorite part of OnlyFans is that they there's a discount, yeah, because I have OnlyFans people that help me, like I they they help me do stuff and they're like, let's do a, a five dollar this week thing. And I'm like, okay, I'll post it. I'm like, here's my dick, guys, you want to see more? Five dollars a week, it's pretty cool. And your girlfriend, I won an award, you won an OnlyFans award, oh, not porn award for what. Maybe. So, uh best social media oh yeah not from not best boy job or anything yeah. wow but still got an award it's in my starter house award. right <laughs> next people hit be... me up now and want to work with me wow yeah. congratulations Real hot and stuff you come thought over. you were done you thought you were done in yeah you're yeah, not I didn't done you're I would just sleep starting. with a 50 year old everyone's asleep with old people it's kind of crazy people Bumble girl, like straight girls, want to sleep with me. Oh, well, people or just older men? Oh, probably older dudes. Yeah, because yeah, girls say older dudes not so dumb, and like that. Well, they they don't know me, but they're, uh -huh. they're like you know they're all grown up and like not. Uh, you can count on them, uh, count on them a little bit. Like younger guys are flaky, so they have a bad experience, and then they come to like. To, to granddad daddy, for, back to dad, dad. for a good going over, yeah. Back to papa. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, guys, we've learned a lot. This has been great. We sweated. We really We have. learned. We laughed. I think the mushrooms made it worse now. <laughs> Everything was perfect. Love you, Todd. Love you guys. Aww. You're the best. This was Thanks, so friend. fun. Thanks for having Thank me. you for Appreciate coming. It. My favorite gay boy, guys. Yay, I'm a gay boy, you guys. <laughs> really do. We love each other. It's the meat and potatoes. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies, and Fannies, and all of the Sleep and Nannies, yeah. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies, and Fannies, and all of the Sleep and Nannies. I'm gonna fire Oscar. I'm about to prosper. Blingy on my drinky, and Randy is living proper. Protector of the sick, she never let her fishes die. Never known to tell a lie, she even fixed Todd's eyes. Shout out to the slugs, shout out Woody's too. Shout out Esther and Kalila and the Annie Wood crew. Cause this is Annie Wood, you know that this is how I'm living. Real and never pretending shit, you know that this is a gift. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the Stannies, Annies, and Fannies, and all of the Sleeper Nannies.